Hi everyone, it's been a minute. It's really nice to be back on here connecting with you all. So thank you for joining me. It's been a really busy summer. Summer. I got a puppy, his name is Jake, at the end of June. So we got him when he was eight weeks old. So it's been a really busy summer, but a summer filled with so much joy. And he's just, I mean, broken my heart open in so many ways. I love him so much, but I haven't really created time or space to do these videos. So it just feels really good to be back on YouTube, connecting with you all. I'm sending you many wishes of wellness for the fall season, the upcoming fall season. And I wanted to get back into doing these uh, more general readings to provide you with insight and guidance for the week ahead. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today, a general reading for the week ahead. Um, Labor Day weekend here in North America. And um, so this is a time of new beginnings for for most of us, you know, typically um, this time of year with the season shift, there's a lot of, of change. The weather's changing, you know, kids are going back to school. Uh, so I just feel like this is a time because there's a lot of shift where we can really use guidance from the angels. And so I hope to bring that in for you today. So um, if you like, if you have the time, you can take a moment and ground with me. You can close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Place your feet on the earth, spread through your toes. And just take a moment for yourself. Slow and deep breaths in and out through your nose. We'll welcome the angels in. Thank you angels for reminding us of your presence and thank you for providing us with guidance and insight to support us in the week ahead. So I'm gonna start with my, um, my angel card deck today and see what comes through for all of you. So this is my, my Keepers of the Light deck. So my teacher, Kyle Gray, it's his deck, the Keepers of the Light, combined with the Archangels from his Angel Prayers Oracle deck. So thank you angels for revealing to us what we need to know. And um, you'll probably recognize some of the figures in this deck because they're ascended masters and archangels that for the most part are um, household names. That one, that one wants to come out. I feel like there's one more for us for the general in this guy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the two cards for your reading today are the Archangel Faith and Green Terra. So Archangel Faith is Archangel Michael's twin flame. And when Faith comes up in a reading, her message of encouragement and what I'm feeling for all of us today is whatever you're going through, that you are supported and to have faith and trust the process. So especially if you're going through a challenging time in your life, um, maybe a time of uncertainty, this is a time to really come back to faith and trusting the process and knowing that God or the universe has a plan for you and um, to really trust in that plan. And I like to use the word co-create because we are the creators of our reality, um, but we are creating with the universe. So sometimes we, we might have an idea of how we want things to work out. And this is just a gentle reminder that, you know, to trust in the greater plan for you at this time. And so if you have a prayer practice, I myself have been doing a lot more prayer lately um, at night before I go to bed and first thing in the morning connecting with angels, connecting with saints, whatever practice you have to connect with the divine, maybe it's a meditation practice. I'm feeling like we're all being encouraged at this time, especially through this card and through Faith's message to, to, to stay calm, to stay grounded and to have faith and trust the process. And um, the crystal that I'm being called to share with you today, actually, and I have a big piece of it, but I have a smaller piece here, is uh, Smoky Quartz. See that there. 
And um, if you work with crystals or you feel called to work with crystals, smoky quartz is a really excellent crystal for grounding. So if you have a tendency to, to overthink or become anxious or really get into your head making to-do lists and uh, even when you're making a decision about something, if you have a tendency to really be in your head and pros and cons, the, the message for you is to get grounded and have faith. And smoky quartz can really help with that. It literally helps us find our land legs. When I'm feeling really in my head or overwhelmed about a decision that I have to make or just in general, just feeling anxious, smoky quartz is my go-to crystal that I work with. And typically what I'll do is I'll just sit in meditation for a couple of minutes or prayer and I'll hold the piece of smoky quartz. I actually have a really big one here that I want to show you. This is my uh, one of my favorite crystals to work with. This is the biggest one I own, this giant smoky quartz. You don't need a giant crystal like this. I just happen to have one, but um, working with a piece of smoky quartz in your meditation and prayer can be very grounding. And um, so yes, that's our first message is to have faith, trust the process, stay grounded and know that there is a bigger plan for you in store. It may not be what you think it's gonna be, but to really have that sense of trust in divine intelligence at this time. We also have Green Tara in the general reading and um, she has to do with supreme protection. And what I'm feeling like that, and this sort of goes along with having faith at this time with whatever you're going through in your life, Supreme protection is this reminder that you were being guided, that there's a force at play that's that's greater than you, that's bigger than you, and to really trust in that force. And also that um, this is a good time for you to cut cords that might be binding you to any old ways of thinking that might be holding you back from being able to move forward. So she's also the card of cords are being cut, move beyond limitation, trust. So the message is trust, trust the process, trust that you're being protected and trust that there is a divine plan. So faith and green tarot for your general reading so far. I'm going to pull a few tarot cards as well, just to gain a little bit more clarification for our week ahead. So I'm going to work with my Rider Waite deck. So is there anything else that we need to know about the week ahead? And I feel like it's in relation to having faith and trust. Okay. We saw five of swords fly out. Let's see if anything else comes out right now. Okay. This one. So we have the five of swords. Ooh. And the seven of wands. Okay. So this is a really clear message I'm feeling. Five of swords, seven of wands. So if there's, if I feel like this is pertaining to relationships, if there is a situation right now in your life, whether it's with your partner or sibling, parent, loved one, good friend, where there's combat, where there's conflict, where there's challenge, because you see things differently, where you see a situation differently, the message that's very clear for this week is let go of the need to be right. And this is what the eight of wands or the seven of wands energy is like this. See how he has a stick he's holding or the wand he's holding it up like this is defensive is to let your defenses down, to let your guard down, to let go of the need of needing to be right, needing to prove yourself, needing to get the last word in and that you will find peace if you release that because the five of swords energy is you're the winner, but at what cost? It's this idea of, yeah, you might win the argument, but what does that really resolve in the end? Because I think that mo I can sure most of us can agree that what we want is peace in our relationships and peace in our lives. So if there is any kind of conflict, it's let your guard down. You don't need to be right. You don't need to win. You can know in your heart you're right if you really need to, but that's not going to lead to long-term peace. I feel like it's also this energy of shifting the way that you look at things to be able to see the other person's perspective. And again, just releasing the need to be right and releasing the need to defend your ideas. And it's just ego, right? It's just this idea of like needing to defend 
your viewpoint or it's very much attached to who you are. And so it's like this releasing of that is going to bring you peace. And I'm feeling like that trust and really trusting and having faith in, in whatever challenging situation that you're in, know that you're trusted, know that you're protected and know that there's a greater force at play for the week ahead. I want to see if there's one more angel card that can bring us some guidance. Ooh. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. So then we, we have the, the forgiveness card. We have master Jesus and his, um, his teaching is forgiveness. So it's the same thing. If there's any conflict and I'm feeling like in this, in this reading, like there is some conflict, um, happening in the collective at the moment, like within relationships and this idea that forgiveness will set you free and releasing the need to be right, releasing the need to prove yourself and coming into that forgiveness because really like that forgiveness is going to help you break the chains of any resentment that you have that's holding you back from being able to move forward. And forgiveness is love. All right, I think that's all for today. So um, one more thing that just came to me was that often when we have difficulty forgiving others, it's because we haven't forgiven something in ourselves. So what are you holding onto in yourself that needs to push that into the external world? Self-forgiveness, if you can come into a place of self-forgiveness, you can find healing within your relationships. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's so great to reconnect with you. It's been a while since I've done a reading like this and I just feel so good to reconnect with the community. If you have any questions or if you want to share anything in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks again for tuning in. I hope to do these videos more often, general card readings for you, um, as well as maybe some um, videos about tarot and working with angels and angel cards. So let me know what videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. Um, if you feel like this video is helpful, you can share it with a friend or subscribe to my channel. I am offering, um, readings on zoom as well as through email. I'll leave the link below for my website. Thank you all. Happy long weekend. And, um, I hope you have a beautiful week. See you all soon.